this video, I'd like to talk about a few repositories of open educational resources that you may employ in your plurilingual or clear classes. The first one is the quite well known Khan Academy. On Khan Academy, you can find free online courses, lessons and practice in a variety of subjects. At the end of the page, you may also select a language here. So if you decide that your language is English, you may use the Lingua Franca or you may teach your plurilingual classes uh, or use the available resources for CLIL or EMI purposes. At the same time, you may decide to select another language and allow each student to learn in their own first language, which allows for diversity and different styles of learning and personalization. For the purposes of this video, let's imagine that your preferred language is English and let's imagine you're teaching a module on geometry. So what you're going to do is simply write geometry here, hit the search button, and for example, the first result is high school geometry. So we're going to open it. As you can see, there are many different modules and many different units. The first one is called Performing Transformations. The, the second one, Transformation Property Improves. And within each unit, you're going to find different topics. Let's open, for example, Intro to Euclidean Geometry. And here, you're going to find lessons with embedded exercises as well. Then you're going to find videos you can watch in the classroom or you can assign to your students as a homework. And then here, you get extra practice. And at the end of the unit, you're going to get quizzes that, again, you can use for formative assessment or for practice to be done in the classroom. The beauty of the resources contained in Khan Academy is that they are open educational resources, which means that you can use them and reuse them freely. Your students can access them anytime, anywhere, and you may decide to use just one video or just one exercise uh, for your classes or to follow the entire course. This is the second open educational resource repository that I would like to talk to you about, and it's called Learning Resource Exchange for Schools. It is a repository, but it's different from Khan Academy as it does not contain complete courses in a variety of topics, but it contains resources that are based on the travel well philosophy. What is it? The travel well philosophy are criteria for resources that can be used across Europe. And these criteria range from the fact that they must be transnational topics, knowledge of a specific language is not needed, so uh, they may entail simulations or games or videos where um, different subtitles uh, are available or the voiceover can be turned off. Um, they must be easy to use and no methodological support for teachers is needed. So they come, uh, they are quite handy, um, especially for plurilingual classes. Now let's go back and see how we can use this resource. Now we can use it in a very general way without searching only travel well resources. And in this case, let's uh, imagine again, you're teaching a class about geometry. So here you can select the language you wish to find your resources in. And then you click on go. You're going to find a range of resources that you can further restrict by selecting, for example, the minimum age and the maximum age. So, for example, you may uh, wish to find only resources that are uh, designed specifically for high school students. Anyway, um, you find a lot of resources because we searched for geometry quite in general, but if you want to be more precise, you can certainly search for uh, something more specific. Um, let's open one, for example, here you will find uh, different information such as the descriptors, the keywords, the age range and the resource type. In this case, we have a simulation, an exploration and a course, which means that it's quite a uh, complex resource. And then by clicking on get this resource, you will be redirected to the original page. And as you can see, it consists, it's not just one resource, but it's a complete uh, part of a website where by clicking 
on the different links, uh, you may find a lesson and then also uh, exercises. As I mentioned uh, a moment ago, there is another way of using these resources and it's um, you may click on search only travel well resources. Then if you click on go, you're going to find only resources that are not language dependent. So mainly uh, in mathematics, simulations and games. So if we open the first one, for example, you may see that this is a simulation and by clicking again on get this resource, you will be redirected to the original page where you may decide to download the resource or simply use it online. The third repository that I would like to talk to you about is a bit different from the other two. Um, this is a project called Local Linguistic Landscapes, promoted by the Erasmus Plus project. And it aims at showing that multilingualism is a phenomenon that is all around us in our everyday lives. And it also aims at promoting language awareness of both students and teachers. The kind of resources you're going to find here are a bit different because they specifically refer to multilingual projects. So uh, first of all, you're going to find videos about the project itself. Um, then you're going to find podcasts again about the project itself. And then in the section called modules, you're going to find different sample lessons uh, in different languages. So, uh, for example, let's click on one activity in English. And here you're going to find all the details of the lesson. So in this case, you're not going to find a reusable video uh, or a reusable lesson, but you're going to find a reusable lesson plan uh, that you can also adapt to this class to your own classroom. So, for example, um, this uh, exercise is called uh, Our Lennon Wall and it's targeted at the age group uh, between 9 and 10. And uh, here you get some materials and resources that you can click on. So, for example, this is a presentation of the topic. Why do we learn languages? Why do we learn English and other languages in school? And you can search the presentation and decide to reuse it as it is, or perhaps decide to change it and adapt it to your needs. Uh, then you also have um, other types of resources. Uh, the teaching approaches and uh, the, the sort of uh, links uh, and uh, other subjects that it also tackles, in this case, history and geography. You get the summary of the activities. So in this case, uh, to get the students to brainstorm on the idea of why do we learn languages? Why do we learn English at school and create an expressive mural uh, that in the end is going to look a lot like this. So if you want to reuse uh, this lesson, you may, as I said before, copy as it is, or you can adapt it. For example, uh, for distance learning, you may decide to use an online platform such as Miro to recreate the same uh, sticky notes uh, framework. These were just three examples because you may find a lot of other repositories of uh, open educational resources online. And uh, I hope that through this video, you understand the importance of using and reusing these materials and disseminate it uh, as much as possible.